Good day, folks. Today, GIMP. What the heck is going on? We're going to start off by doing just a like sort of a way to uh, get oriented with this product, um, just by doing sort of some simple geometric figures. Uh, so if hopefully, you know, you have this screen up uh, with your uh, GIMP, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to first generate a new canvas, okay? So we'll go to with GIMP, we'll go to File, and then New. And then uh, we're going to keep the default dimensions. Those are fine, uh, sort of like just um, HD or whatever you want to call it. Um, what we'll do though is let's take a look at advanced options. Um, and what we're going to look at is with fill with white. Now I'm going to do mine uh, with a white background color. Uh, you may certainly uh, you know, do a different color for your canvas as far as like what the background color is going to be. I just find white to be sort of an easy place to start off. Uh, but you may do whatever uh, sort of color you wish. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, say OK. OK, so we have a white canvas at this point. So um, what we have here is we've got uh, sort of like our main sort of tools over here. And we've got our kind of like advanced options over here. Um, the way we're going to be adding additional tools or, or like options We'll be clicking on this one button here which says configure this tab. See there? Um, and we're going to go ahead and say add tab. And just ahead of time now, um, you know, these are all the our options. Let's also just make sure that patterns is selected, that we have patterns as a, uh, as a tool option. OK, so now we've got, let's keep it on tool options. OK, so as far as sort of some things we're going to start off with, let's just keep it simple. Um, we're going to start off with just using this square selection tool. So let's go ahead and we get rectang oh, sorry, rectangle selection tool. Um, and let's just make a, sort of like a simple, uh, we'll just start our click, um, like in the know, top right, something like that. And let's just make a sort of just a nice rectangle like that. OK, so you notice now we've got a situation here where we see sort of some ants marching around. That's basically indicating that we have a selection. We have currently have something selected. Um, if we want to adjust the size of our rectangle, we just sort of click and and make that adjustment. Um, if you wanted to just adjust like, you know, horizontal, you would do that. If you want to adjust the uh, sort of vertical and horizontal at the same time, you do the upper, like one of the corners, and you can sort of adjust that. Um, but anyways, well, OK, Flem, what's going on here? Great, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and um, let's make a color selection. So notice we've got here, um, You've got a foreground and background color. So if we sit here, like th by default, you're going to have your foreground is going to be black. Your background is going to be white. Um, not very exciting. You know, not, the world isn't all black and white. Um, and um, anyways, uh, you know, we've got our foreground set to black, uh, background set to white. Not very exciting. Let's go ahead and just click on that foreground color. And we can go ahead and do some interesting adjustments. Now, notice too, like uh, for you HTML heads out there, uh, we also could do hex, uh, a specific hex uh, for a specific color. Um, but you know, that's one of those things. You know, you don't always have to do that. But if one were so inclined, you could do that. There's also sort of some different options with uh, like how you make your color selections. There's really no advantage to doing like one method uh, over another. Um, so. Now let's go ahead and I don't know what color we want. I don't know. Let's do, I don't know. I'm, I'm fond of blue. Uh, now let's do like a greenish. I don't know, kind of like a dark greenish color. All right, cool. That looks nice. All right, so now we've got like sort of a foreground color selected. Let's just go to edit. And then we've got sort of some options we're going to be playing with here. We've got fill. We've got fill with pattern, fill selection outline, and we've got stroke selection. Um, let's initially just say, let's fill with foreground color. FG stands for foreground. Uh, so we're going to fill that. OK, nice, a nice green color. Um, let's go ahead then and let's make another selection, like, I don't know, slightly smaller. And let's do, let's change our color to, I don't know, Blue. I'm just picking nice colors. And again, folks, this is just an example. Uh, your actual like geometric uh, or your like simple shapes. Like, please, just you. Th this is just a demo. Um, I'm gonna want you to create something on your own. So let's say foreground color. Um, we did that blue. And then let's go ahead and I can even just shrink a little bit more. Uh, let's say here foreground color. Oh, I already did that blue. Let's change that up to uh, I don't know whatever. Foreground color. All right, so there's something very simple as far as like just uh, some square, uh, sorry, some rectangles, not, not looking too terrible. Um, and then the way that we would do like a circle, 
let's go ahead and go to the ellipse and then let's just go ahead and create a, a circle that sort of like fits within that last square we did and um, let's change it up a little bit and let's go to that remember before we had um, created a pattern um, let's find sort of an interesting pattern I don't know the big blue looks pretty interesting or the blue grid uh, or we got maple leaves um, no, let's, oh, what's that? Starfield, yes, the Starfield, I believe, is what we need. I'll just say edit, and then we'll say fill with pattern. That'll give us sort of some, uh, sort of a galactic theme there. Um, so we've got sort of like, okay, so so far, like uh, uh, ge geometric figures or simple shapes, we've got, we've got sort of some rectangles. We've got a circle. Let's go ahead then and um, let's do like a circle within this circle somewhere like, uh, oops, let's, just that and let's like just make it a little bit smaller we'll say like this put it in the middle let's do I don't know um, let's do a solid color this time what would be an interesting thing to put in the middle of this color wise I don't know um, <laughs> let's I don't uh, white I don't know let's try it let's see what it looks like uh, so let's say edit and then we'll say fill foreground color something like that all right cool so it's sort of like a Oh, kind of like an evil eye or something like that. I like where things are going. Um, so we've got sort of some, some different circles. Uh, we did that. Uh, let's go ahead and make a triangle within this circle. So um, what I did is I used the lasso tool. I selected that. And I'm just going to say, let's just do like that. Like that. And then what we do is we, we click that last time and sort of bring that all together. And at this point, let's do, let's change our color to, I don't know, Let's go back to our green friend. Let's go back to that green we'd used earlier. Not a perfect circle, not a perfect triangle. Whatever, we're just having fun right now. Uh, and let's just say, uh, we'll do stroke selection. And uh, you can play with some of the different uh, options here. But let's say stroke with paint tool. Uh, let's do the airbrush, sure. Um, and we can say stroke that. Uh, did it do the background? I don't know. It didn't, it didn't really come out very well. Um, so let's also then, let's we'll just say the, the, the stroke selection. Let's do the, that solid stroke, and let's try that again. There we go. Cool. All right, so something very simple, uh, just to sort of like do something fun with sort of just some simple geometric shapes. Um, play around with basically the selection tool. Um, we've got so far like what I want to see you utilize in this. The free select tool, the ellipse select tool, the rectangle select tool, and where we're really uh, sort of focusing in on are going to be like fill with foreground, fill with background, fill with pattern. Um, and like, you know, you could sort of play with the stroke selection or fill selection, okay? So kind of just a, a nice, easy introduction to GIMP. Um, if you want to look at some old school instructions, check out the other ones that are there. Hope you have a good one. Good stuff.